valuable in this situation having something that can be destructive in the fights and looks like shanji's gonna go for that aatrox pretty comfortable in the top lane matchup but also when things are diving when there's a big mix it's of the grump away yeah i like the invade right the critical thing is the eq connected before aki had his w available to block it but they are oh. looking for a dive here oh no cream you're in big trouble flash force and actually flash followed by draw first blood going into the pocket of Xiao Pong flashes away from the tower aki low on hp but will escape Able, top. able to clear the wave uh and it means sharpong has to back away but cream is behind the team and maybe sharpong's gone too far cold flash up to get the engage joe trying to body block for his jungler jackal of moving in as well as cream is just being bullied by knight the shockwave comes out but the damage just isn't there knight might just find a solo kill on the side of the fight Work out. Hey, top esports massively lose out in this trade yeah and you made the call about the dragon right they could have gone for the dragon they're gonna lean towards the other side of the map and apply some pressure there the top esports seem really just lazy about what they're doing they steal a couple of i think they stole the blue buff maybe that was about it and then they go for the mid gang sure you get a flash but comparatively abel is getting injected with gold the tower <laughs> bot look how healthy it is still and the race for a second the race of can we get one plate before the tier two goes <laughs> down on the other side of the map oh my days omg just out macro only taking two plates far and already able 500 gold up 600 gold actually in the matchup it just feels like you're giving over free advantages to the enemy team now i don't want to say anything more wards and we kind of look you know in the next couple of minutes we have that second rift held coming up oh cream oh great steadfast presence from aki shao Pung gets destroyed but actually cream's gonna go down anyway Knight just has so much damage. As comfortable as yeah. maybe he did in some of last year. Oh, Colt's just going to start a fight here. Goes straight on to draw forces. A flash out early on. Care stop ticking onto the team. Those cold low on HP. But there's one pick for OMG. Xiaopeng gets out but Abel chasing down. Zaku slightly wide. But Aki flashing forward. That'll be a double kill. Abel grabbing two. Well, grabbing one for himself as he goes down. Answers with his own life here. And OMG getting chased away. Shockwave going to come through in a second. But Jackie Love gets a double. Knight versus the world. Can he finish these health bars off? Flashes forward. Gets cold but goes down. Shanji going to be trying to position to force top esports away here. And we could well have a 50 50 smite. As in they go. Dro starting this one off. Shanji having to get away. And actually just goes down. The front line is gone. But the three man shockwave on the back line from Cream. Can they finish it off? Because Abel on this jinx firing away with the rocket. It's a big rocket. No, zap. Not quite enough to finish off the kill. The rocket on cooldown already. Draw will fall though. That's a double for Abel. And it's enough. It's only a support and a jungler. <gasps> but it's. <laughs> I was gonna say it's it should be easy it should be simple but they don't manage to find the backline access able really position himself well and then when OMG, it... unless Xiao Peng can find a miracle smite the rest of the top esports are actually gonna commit here the tp coming through we got another 5v5 on our hands it feels like we're in the late game already call of the forge god on three off to the side here looking for the smite looking for the eye of the herald Paul the first one to go down jacking up with one kill but he whiffs the ulti shockwave onto two again Cream is on point with these ultis this game. And now Shanji chasing down the side of Top Esports. Another double for Abel as OMG are cleaning house. Knight pulled back in, knocked back up, and Shanji wants blood. He will not let the Chinese mid laner escape as he tries to chase him down. But Zhuo there to protect his mid laner. Ooh. No, he's not. Shanji does not. not up with this. Probably wouldn't even need the Herald to get this tower in all honesty. But I uh, will take the charge anyway and. I feel like now someone trapped in the pit that is really an opportunity for top esports to win it out oh shaopong oh, oh the my. anchor ruins yeah. everything for shaopong shockwave used but they'll take that that's the jungler down they already got it's gonna be tough for top esports as the anchor goes out from cold once again zero regard for his own life he just wants to get the fight going cream positioning the ball watch out for the shockwave if top esports stand in the wrong spot they could be in massive trouble another anchor out as the barrier down to 2k keep your eyes on aki can he find the smite chaos storm comes in shockwave whisked it's a sombrero as omg have to just back away and accept they cannot get this baron yet yeah, they have to slow play it right, and I think Xiao Peng made the right call there. Didn't try to go in the pit. He doesn't want to get blocked by Poppy. Oh, Jungle's oh, dead. Oh no, he's not. What is that healing from the Godric? He actually survives. Now the re-engage from Aki, and the health bars explode. Jackie looks gone. Xiao Peng slides out to safety, but Shanji is on the chase. He doesn't want to let them go. There's one knockup. 
Can they follow up for a little bit more? I don't think it's going to happen, but Juo may be caught out anyway. Cream giving a bit of movement speed over to Shanji. ways of applying that. We see OMG is going to pick up another dragon. Why not? No real downside to it. No real contestion. Uh, get themselves one away from Soul. Push in once again. Baron already down to half HP as Xiaofeng drops his flag. Will he be able to find the steal? Or OMG actually just get a 50-50. This one looks like it. And it's <laughs> taken by Able of all people. Now the fight ensues. Look out for that Shockwave as he's just waiting for the opportunity. It's one for Able already. Jackie Love on the back line. Shockwave comes on through the double for Able. But now they're trying to turn this one around. Shanji is just completely invincible. Annihilates Jackie Love under his wings. Able with the triple. And Knight left to wonder what on earth. Gravity field, sorry. Keeps him safe. He'll get a blast cone out of there. He's okay. He just desperately wants to clear these waves. But with the Baron buff, it's just not happening are actually keeping his own team stuck in so jinx can just fire these rockets out and the oriana shockwave can hit zoom's in trouble again anchor comes on through the bellows breath is gonna do nothing he does not get to move as another tower taken with the baron with the top laner down this could be an opportunity for omg to just snowball into a game win if they find another pick it could all end here but now it'll just be this in hip tower on the bottom side they're looking for a flank. Juo has to find a miracle play if Top Esports are to stay inside of this game. OMG pushing for the Nexus Towers. Jackilov has red and blue weapons and he's knocked back into the team. Flashes out safety, but he's down! And OMG might just have done it. The shockwave through. Juo cannot get back into the fight. Cream flashes to safety. The Chaos Storm can't finish the kills. And it's a one for one off the end of that last play. The Cataclysm gets one, but Abel still goes strong and that's all they need. The auto's out. Three more kills for Abel as he finishes night for the Quadra. And that's a win for OMG in style. Absolutely crushed it. It feels like OMG with question marks after the LGD series. Style of game, so the Aatrox makes sense to me. I'm curious about this. Zaya certainly will be safe against a LeBlanc as well. Zaya, very nice because you can use that oh, ultimate. As the game goes on and Top Esports will feel a lot more comfortable in those teamfights with how their composition is firing up now. Jo. Uh, Jo's gonna die. That's just a straight 2v2 kill. In the meantime, Shanji's being ganked. We didn't even see. But he's fine. He survives for the time being. Jackie loves solo on HP. He walks to try and stop the shield for Aki, but I mean, you've got bigger fish to fry right now, dude. Like, your are hellside. I, think, I mean, I think that's the thought process, but honestly, just, just getting caught by the hook in that situation is, is pretty rough regardless. Oh. Now, Hold looking. Yeah, he is. Flash forward for the flay. He's going to sacrifice his life, I think, for this play. Jackie Love getting one for himself. The feathers are going to come back one for one so far. Abel's still surviving full HP right here. The stun comes in root across the team. Duo low on HP. One more auto would do the trick as Aki survives here. And now red and white time to fight. Jackie Love has to flash away. Duo over the wall, but the auto comes on through from Cream. And there's one as well for Abel as he charges on forward. Sorry, Aki getting that kill. The Chaos Storm yeah, trying. Dangerous for OMG if they overcommit. Cream takes a chunk. Top Esports grouping as a four here for Aki. The steadfast present blocks everything. Xiaopeng low. He goes down. Herald taken by OMG. And they want more as well as Cream is tearing through everyone. Shanxi falls though. Maybe Zoom can turn the fight around. He is a Renekton in the early game. Knight and Zoom Long the storm. way away based on what we're seeing so far. Is Aki moving in alongside Cole trying to get some vision? Drake onto the map as Knight goes for another trade with Cream. This time Cream winning out. I say that. Chaos Storm's going to change uh, the... Uh, the health bars. I don't know where I'm going with that. The tables have turned, I suppose. It's 11 minutes on the clock, and Abel is just hammering away on this tower, almost finishing off the final plate with Cold and Aki here to zone. They'll get this last plate done. That's the first tower of the game. Decimate anyone on the side of top esports who comes close to him, so very scary to be in that situation already. OMG oh, got the enemy team to be ulting uh, with the lantern available and the fact that, you know, Bonk's so mobile, but looking for an engage. Here we go, TP being channeled as well. OMG want to commit for this Herald. In the meantime, Zoom's staying on the bottom side. Not going to channel his TP for the time being. Knight rooted, but gets over the wall. Keep himself safe. Uh, Zoom, that's a very deep teleport. Immediately played back in, hooked up as well. Zoom might just go down here, but he flashes forward. Gets a bit of damage onto Abel. That's a lot of damage, to be fair to him. He went full flex oh, tank. Can't finish things off. And now everyone flies into the backline. Shanji trying to deal damage. Gets knock-ups across the team. And he's so damn tanky that they just can't answer him. The rest of the squad moving in, but Aki goes down. 
Jo with a stopwatch, keeps himself safe. Shanji still on this front line as Cream finishing people off. Finally getting some vengeance on tonight, but actually the gravity well keeps Knight out, keeps him safe. Sharp <gasps> on one HP. Abel can't finish it off. And somehow Cream's Top Esports barely escaping. Cream with a distortion surely available. Jumps on forwards, but there's a laser. Oh. Will be able to get the mimic. So much EOE damage done, but it's really the gravity field that sort of slows down the approach. The cataclysm. I think he's a little upset that he didn't get MVP in game number one right here, because uh, he's having a hell of a performance on the level one. I think it's. Oh. oh. Able. I'm talking too much. You don't get to get in on this sort of afraid orcs as Abel walks out with his life. And Aki, very deep in enemy territory, but he uses the Night Express to blast himself out to safety. Shanji now behind enemy lines, but it'll be a disengage. Wow, how insane is Thresh into Jarvan, right? The fact that you can just lantern people away so he can't ult. Crazy, man. If only they saw this coming and didn't first pick it. <laughs> but yeah, they didn't I mean, need that's... it in game one. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, this I mean, is... but... He's been relegated to the sideline at this point. And, uh, well, I'm expecting Cream and these team fights to do disgusting things to top esports. And honestly, it feels similar to game one, right, Orcs? Where, like, the longer this goes on, I'm not sure that it necessarily gets better for top esports. Yeah, I think it's it's tricky, right? I think they actually, the range discrepancy isn't as... Xiaopeng has to just drop the Herald in that mid lane. Not ideal, but it'll at least get them some mid prio for, for when that Drake comes up in 25 seconds. But I don't know for themselves. So OMG setting themselves up in a fantastic position with Hextech Soul Point. I think, you know, Toppy's supposed to be the right call, right? You can't move into the Dragon Aeons because if it comes down to that scenario and OMG secured, oh, Aki could be in trouble. Yep, steadfast presence though means that he's definitely not. None of the engaged tools work for top esports against this poppy, but cold stunned up big damage. But in goes Cream on the back line, forces out the feathers to fly, but Cream jumps back. Oh, he goes to the other side of the fight again. How does he get OMG forced to walk in? This is the opposite of what they want. Aki and Cream waiting in the brush. And they're gonna find an opportunity. There's the hook, and down goes Juo. Cream just one shot Xiaopeng in the meantime. And that's going to be curtains for top esports, I think. The Drake taken uncontested now. That's the soul going the way of... Slowed, right? And that setup makes it so difficult to approach. They're going to go for it. They're going to try go. find the fight. It's the classic LPL call. Let's outplay. Let's use our better hands. In the back line goes Cream, but he can't find an opportunity to get damage for now. Aki goes wide on the Keeper's Verdict. But it's not going to matter. It's enough. Oh, the Chemtech, the Hextech gate. That was creepy. Oh, creep. But he gets out with the Mimic. Will survive. That brought five players from top esports to the bottom side of the map, though. Cream, I'm not especially sure how he survived that one. I'm not sure he should have survived that you know one, what? honestly. But doesn't matter. He did. That's all that matters. And now the in -hip tower in this top side with the Baron Cannons will just be finished off pretty quickly zoom behind the enemy team dominus proc this is the opportunity for top esports cream overstep to maybe his team is punished for it shanji flashes away though zoom jumping forwards to get that stun shanji's tanky though moonlight vigil once again whipped by angel angel able <laughs> it's one kill for zoom and in the meantime the rest of omg are shattering the base apart and it feels like Top Esports just can't catch a break. Aki trying to finish the inhib in the mid lane as the rest of the minions barrel in the top side. And OMG are everywhere all at once. Top Esports, they can't do anything about it. Cream is in the bottom side in the meantime. This will be all three towers taken down. And at least, at minimum, two inhibs. Probably all three. Maybe even the game orbs. Honestly, at this point, very little feels like Top Esports can do. Their engage just doesn't work against OMG's composition. And it feels like OMG is just able to walk this one in. This was meant to be a super team from Top Esports, but it's been just a disaster so far. Aki goes way too deep trying to end the game, but I don't think it matters anyway. Nexus is bare, and the damage is coming through from the OMG squad with the Hextech Soul. They obliterate Top Esports 15 to 6. And it's way two. away from that right now. Yeah. I will say, I want to take back the word expect, and I'm going to replace it with hope. <laughs> <laughs> this team should, by the end of the year, be a top team. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if when, when We're going into February, you know, do we have time? You know, it's a... maybe, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Better yeah. start working quickly, though. It's not working quickly. Well, we're going to head over to the stage. We've got Abel standing by for an interview. So let's hear what the winner has to say. 
everyone, welcome to the interview. And now we have invited Abel from OMG to join us. So congratulations on today's win. And now OMG has ended the losing streak with a perfect 2-0. Tell us more about the adjustments or changes made by the team before today's matchup. 那首先，恭喜你们今天二比零很漂亮，拿下了比赛的胜利。第一个问题想要问到的是，整个队伍可能做出的一些改变，因为你们现在也是终结了连败嘛，所以能问一下，在今天比赛前有做哪些调整之类的吗？嗯，就是我们终于打了，不要太急，那就不要就不要那种乱指挥之类的，就没了。So for the adjustments we made, as normal is mainly focusing on our mid game. So in the mid game, we try not to rush a lot and try not to make so many very rush or very messy short calls in the mid game. So that's all for the adjustments and changes we made for today's game. Yeah, definitely we can see this because we feels like in almost every single team fight, OMG were able to get the win to get all the all the net neutral resources from team fights. So tell us more about your focus in all the team fights. And also, normally, who's the one that made the short call or the main shot caller inside the team? 那其实就如你所说的嘛，可能一些中期的决策，包括说指挥的方面，可能有些改变。那今天感觉你们整体团战好像美如画，每一波团几乎都是打赢的一个状态。所以说，能问一下，可能你们会在团战之中关注的重点会是哪些？同时，一般队伍里会谁会是那个比较担当指挥的一个人呢？嗯 ，EF 吧 ，EF 跟上单。So I think the main shot caller inside our team is a jungler support player, and also sometimes the top laner Shanji will also join join them. Yeah, we can see this. And also, my next question is about the champion choice because in both games, top esports they just gave that first pick to the jungler Jarvan, but immediately OMG you guys just locked down that Poppy. So maybe do you feel Poppy can be a very good counter pick in the jungler matchup against Jarvan? So tell us more about the background in picking that Poppy. 那其实说到今天的比赛，感觉对面好像两局都是一抢直接选下了皇子这个英雄，但是随时应对的你们也都立刻在前两手锁下了打野的波比，所以说你们是不是觉得可能波比会是一个打野对位上面对皇子比较好的选择呢？能不能和我们分享一下选出打野波比的一个思路？嗯，波比就是可以把皇子一 Q 打下来，然后让他宽不了大，然后就比较克制，然后我们就选波比。So I we really feel like Poppy can be a very good counter pick against Jarvan in the jungler matchup, especially by using um Poppy's ultimate. He can really um have a very good restriction to the Jarvan's performance, especially to restrain his EQ skill shots. Yeah, definitely we can see this. And also my last question is, and now Chinese New Year is coming. So do you have any personal Chinese Chinese New Year wishes, or do you have any words you want to say to all the audience? 那最后一个问题也是，现在新年也快到了嘛，所以说我们 Able 有没有自己的一些新年愿望，包括说有没有什么新年祝福想要送给所有的观众朋友们？嗯，新年愿望就是走得更远嘛，来祝大家新年快乐。So my、uh, Chinese New Year wishes is we want to go further with this team, with this OMG, and I want to say to all the audience Happy Chinese New Year. So thank you for the sharing and congratulations. 那再次恭喜你们，也祝你们新年快乐。And back to you guys. Happy Chinese New Year. Yeah. Thanks very much, Wendy. Happy Chinese New Year to you as well. Um, I, I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get a question about the Aphelios moment, but I suppose that's in the past. But I, I just can't move past it myself. You know, I just can't move past it. Uh, our MVP for that game is going to be cold. And we already highlighted him. We already highlighted this bot lane from OMG doing such an incredible job across the course of the series. But I just loved in the early game, Cold's sheer lack of regard for his own life. That one death was a sacrificial death to make sure that his carries got fed. And I respect that. It, it really personifies the LPL support, right? Just that lack of care for your own KDA that... Joe demonstrates right there, right? But Cold really set up the team well. Obviously, the early kill in the lane of face set up to punish Jackie Love, got Abel ahead, but it felt like this is that moment you were talking about. Doesn't really care that he goes down, but is dead set on ensuring that his team has a good fight. Yeah, beautiful stuff and, and setting his team up to just clear through house, right? Cream able to chase down Joe. And uh, Abel and Aki finishing off Knight, I think, or maybe it was Jackie Love in the end, but the flash forward from Aki and Abel finishes the kill. Really nicely done.
But time and time again, I mean, I feel like this fight was all about Aki, but Cold doing a good job to protect his team as well. Yeah, and just going back to the interview we had, I feel like, you know, talking a bit about the Poppy being the Canada Jarvan, really feel like this game, the Thresh pick, vital as well, and just mitigating the pressure that this pick can apply, really rendered Jiaopeng's impact. Kind of null, yeah. and I hope Top Esports were watching that interview, and they can kind of 